The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Finally Friday. Every doctor looks forward to Fridays, especially me. And that, and that noise from that cafeteria, I'm telling you, oh God, dude, I can't even relax listening to these people. Uh, nurse, can you please shut the door for me over there, please? I need some peace of quiet, right? Thank you. This computer, this computer's been messing up all week long. Obviously, I'm not a computer person, so I can't figure out what's wrong with it, but Jeez, uh, enough of this, enough of this. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take my 15 minute break here. Got my coffee, got the Hudson Litchfield News here. Oh, boy, let's see, I'll put my feet up and relax. Ah, oh, boy, it's been a rough day as it is already. Hey, I'm gonna go right to the thumbs like everybody else does. Let's see, let's see what we got here. Oh. Boy, everybody, that's all everybody talks about is Donald Trump. Donald Trump, my friend Donald Trump, constantly, they're constantly bashing him, whether it's on the news or in this paper or whatever, they always bash him. Hmm, look at this. Hmm. Edit his note. Beginning next week, we will no longer include Trump bashing comments. Let's keep our commentary local and focus on our concerns closer to home. All right, good for the editor. Now they're not going to be uh, bashing Donald here. I'm going to have to give him a call down at the White House. Boy, I'm telling you, we're going to have to talk to him when we play golf. Maybe next week or the week after. I don't know. Jeez. Ah, oh, what's this? Th thumbs down to object. <laughs> oh, boy. They got some real winners in here. Let me see. Thumbs down to the... An individual who opposes a constitutional right to bear arms. <laughs> you can bet he's a Republican. <laughs> Jeez. Dr. John, this is Nurse Riley. I have some paperwork for you in the office. Paperwork? What doctor in the year 2018 does paperwork? All right? Jeez, that Nurse Riley, she bothers me every single time I'm on break. I just want to read the paper and enjoy my coffee, just, just for my 15 minute break here. Okay, she never leaves me alone. Jeez, let me, let me see. Oh, boy. Uh, Nurse Riley? Yes? I'll be right there. I'll be there right away, okay? I'm not gonna sit here and finish my break, okay? I'll be there right away. Let's get this issue resolved, all right? I keep telling you, do not bother me when I'm on break, all right? Jeez. Oh, my coffee's gonna get cold. It's, oh, it's just one of those, turn into one of those days already. Jeez, I'm done. Oh, let's see what that nurse Riley gave me for paperwork now. Number one nurse, Nurse Riley. Oh, she left me a note. Went on break. Wouldn't you know it, right? When I go on break, she keeps bothering me. But she just leaves a note and takes off for her 15 minutes. I guess that's all right with her. Boy, I'll tell you that woman. Well, let's see what we have here for paperwork that has to be done right now. Let's see. 
Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know Mr. Johnson came in. Yeah. Uh, uh, I have to sign this for Mr. Johnson. That's it? That's why she bothered me? She had to take me out of my break for this? The sun one more time here. And I think that's it. And I have a note for you, Nurse Riley. See, I have these two. Yes. I got a nice note for you. <laughs> oh, that nurse Riley, she drives me crazy with paperwork. Oh, jeez. I'm behind now, behind schedule. I just lost my break. Oh, man. Finish my coffee anyway. Oh, boy. Coffee's cold. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, Nurse Riley, yes. Can you possibly uh, make me a, a, a new cup of coffee um, when you get a chance, please? Make the coffee yourself. I hate that, Nurse Riley. I really do. See the flowers on his coffee cup? I had one of those in nursing school. Hi, I'm Doctor John. Oh, let's see. You're in here for a muffler replacement, an air filter replacement, and a spark plug replacement. Gee, let me see this muffler over here. Oh, yeah. Got a hole in there. Let me get my flashlight for a minute. Check this out. I don't know. I can see that well. Check this out. Oh, yeah. It doesn't happen too often, but. Yeah, it's going to be replaced. Okay, great. All right. Let me see here. Check your chart here. Your owner, uh, Mr. Johnson, uh, put your first name down as uh, useless. Useless Johnson. Now, why did, he, why did he do that? Why did he do that? Huh? You need to be treated with respect, right? Here you get all the respect you deserve, okay? But he must care about you a little bit because he, at least he brought you here to be seen. That's a good thing. Okay. A lot of owners, they, I mean, a lot of the owners, they call their lawnmowers stupid and dumb, okay? They want you, you know, they stick you in the shed, the dark shed, all by yourself, all right, all week long. And then on Saturday, they want you to just start right up and start mowing their lawn without any maintenance at all. All right? It's so unfair. Jeez. One thing that I usually love to hear, I love the sound of a mower that's running real smoothly. It just, I just love that sound. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Sorry to get involved with that. I just love that sound. Hmm. Jeez. I also see that you've been seen by uh, many doctors, huh? A lot of doctors, huh? Yeah, yeah. Us doctors stick together like this. Like this. Like, whoops. Like my mother's spaghetti, okay? We stick together just like this. All right? Just like this. Get my tapers here. Jeez, I'm telling you. What a mess. Ah. Oh. Another thing is, is uh, do you know that we have a donors program? Okay, if the owner, your own, the owner said that he's willing to go into that donors program. That means when your time is up, like the rest of us here, all right, we're going to take parts off of you to make other mowers like yourself run for a little while longer. All right, I know you don't like that. I know you like to keep everything together. You know, it's just the way it is. That's what your owner wants from you, okay? That's what we're going to have to do. In fact, the muffler that we're going to be putting on you, okay, is coming from a previous mower that I lost in 2009 in surgery. 
All right? I lost in surgery. He almost made it. But now he can be a part of you now. Okay, so that makes everything great. All right, so I'm going to start getting my tools together over here and see what we're going to have, what we're going to get into with this. All right, let me just put this over here, my clipboard. Okay, to replace the muffler, we're going to need some anti-seize compound for the bolts. We're going to need an 11 millimeter socket and ratchet. We're going to need a hammer. We're going to need a regular screwdriver with a big tipped end. We're going to need a 5 16 uh, socket and driver to take off the, the uh, skull guard for the muffler. And we're also going to need a pair of pliers. Uh, Nurse Riley, can you get me a muffler that will fit this uh, John Deere push mower off the donor rack for me? Yeah. Should be on the top shelf. Thank you. Uh, we've got to wait around for her again. Jeez, every time we have to wait for her. Now let me get up and get it I can help you. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, looks like the same size. Yeah, very good. All right, before I work on you, before I even touch anything with you, I'm going to explain each and everything I'm going to do to you. But one of the most important things that I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the spark plug wire here from you, okay? Because if you start while I'm working on you and you cut off four of my fingers, I won't be able to play golf anymore with Donald Trump. All right? I won't be able to. They'll, they'll be it. My career will be over. He'll be upset. And we don't want Donald upset, right? Okay, so safety is number one. All right. What we're going to do first is we're going to take this skull guard off of the muffler. All right? It has two bolts, one on each side. Okay. Well, the first things we're going to do is we're going to take these bolts off of here. There's one on each side. Put them down where we don't lose them. One over here in the front. Take that cover off of there. Okay, next, what we're going to do is we're going to bend these two ends down on, on this metal plate here that holds the bolts on. That keeps the bolts from vibrating loose. So we're going to get our regular screwdriver, tap it with a hammer till they're flat enough we can get a socket on it. Do the other side. Just like that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to get our 11 millimeter socket, put it on here. We're going to take these bolts off. Okay. Turn it all loose. Get that loose. Sometimes they're really rusted. Just that's from the heat. Okay, the heat will do that to it. Okay. I'm gonna take that off. Um, okay. Now we're gonna put our new one back on. Make sure that you put the have the gasket on the back of here, all right? And we're also going to put some anti-seize compound on each end of the um, bolt. Just like a little bit. You don't need a lot. Go right on the end there. Now we're going to install the muffler back onto the engine. I'm going to make sure that this area right here is clean. No carbon in there. Don't see any. Line up our bolts. Make sure that you don't cross thread it. If you cross thread it, you're going to be in some serious trouble. Then we're going to get a 11 millimeter socket and ratchet. We're going to tighten each bolt.
We're not going to go too tight on you, okay? Not too tight, because we don't want to break the bowl on you. Just enough to snug. Just like that, all right? Then we're going to take our pliers, and we want to make sure that we have the flat end of the bolt next to where we're going to bend this tab down, all right? So we're going to bend the tab down, just like that. Okay, I'm going to do the other side. Like I said, that keeps the bolts from turning when the engine's running. Now what we're going to do is going to put our guard back on. Line up all of our bolts, holes. Okay. See, I told you I was going to tell you everything we're going to do here. All right. Get that started. Sometimes they're a booger. Sometimes I'm here for a rabbit putting these in there. You know why? Because I'm getting old now. I'm 55 years old. I got 30 years in the business. And I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired. That's what's happening. Then my hands start shaking. Boy, I'll tell you. I didn't tell you before, but we previously, we previously um, put a little lube on those, these bolts here. Okay. I'm going to tighten each one. Okay, we'll tighten this up. And you are good to go with that muffler. Now we got to move on to the uh, air filter. Okay, let's check your breathing here. You said you needed a new air filter. Let's take a look. See what's going on here. You really labored breathing. What? Wow. Hey, you know something? When you see your own, well, in fact, I'm going to tell your own. Let me take these off so I can hear myself talk. I'm going to tell your owner when, I, when we go out to the appointment room out there in the office, I'm going to tell him to hold his nose like this, okay? Hold your nose like this. Like this. All right? That's how you feel, okay? When owners like this refuse to change your air filter and allow you to breathe, okay? I'm sure you'd like to breathe just like everybody else, right? You don't need to pick your nose like this. All right? Oh, you poor mower. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this cover off and we're going to really look inside and see what's going on in there, right? Okay. Okay, let's take this cover off here. 5 16 socket. See, I keep telling you, letting you know. This bolt won't fall out of there. They make it so it stays in there. Now let's see why your breathing is really labored going on here. Let's take a look. Oh boy. See, I see this all the time. Look at all the dirt in there. Look at all the dirt inside of there. He hasn't changed you for years, all right? Let me show you. Let me show you the difference between a new one and an old one. Look at that. You haven't been breathing good for a long time. Oh boy. All right. So what we're going to do is what we're going to do is so we're going to take a rag, and we're going to wipe this cover out a little bit, like this, all right? Try to get it clean as we can here, all right? You can blow in it if you have to, all right? Then we're going to make sure that this area in here is clean as well, all right? Not any dirt or anything in there. See a little dirt you got in there? We don't want to put a clean filter in a dirty air box. Here we go. Okay. Clean that right up. Now we're going to get you a new air filter and see? See? It shows you the arrows on which way it's supposed to go in there, okay? The pleats are supposed to be facing up, okay? Just like that, all right? And then we can put this right inside the hinges here. We can turn this. Get it started, put our 5 16 
bolt on there, just a little past snug, right? Just a little past snug, just like that. There you go. And now you can breathe just like the rest of us again. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change your spark plug. That's what we're going to do next. All right, now we're going to replace the spark plug. We're going to do that, see? We're going to do that with a spark plug socket and a ratchet. Take this out. Okay. And screw it here. Now this will definitely determine how you've been running. Oh, look at that. You've been running too rich, see? You know what causes that? That air cleaner that that owner forgot to change for the last two years, all right? That's what causes that, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get you a nice new spark plug, all right? Look at that beautiful looking thing, look at that. When you get a new spark plug, you wanna make sure that you have it gap correctly, okay? And this should be 030, 030. And tell your owner that you can get one of these spark plug gapping tools. You can get it at an automotive parts store if you want. And what you do is you find what size you need gapped and you put that in there. Okay? And that's just about right. Okay? Usually most of the spark plugs are gapped correctly to begin with. But when you're purchasing a spark plug and you take it out of the package, make sure that you check. I'm not saying that you should go to the store. Tell your owner to go to the store. When your owner goes to the store, tell them you need to check your spark plug. Make sure that the porcelain isn't broken in here. And your center electrode, the porcelain isn't broken as well. Now I'm going to screw you this back in here. Do it by hand so you don't strip it. We're going to get our ratchet. We're going to tighten it just a little past snug. Perfect. All right. Now that I'm clear away from this lawnmower now, I'm gonna put the spark plug wire back on the spark plug. Okay. And um, we're just about done with you. I'm gonna get my clipboard. Okay, everything's been done. The muffler has been put on, the air cleaner, and the spark plug. And according to your records, your chart here, the owner said that he recently just changed your oil. All right, so that's good. So I'll see you here in six months, okay? Six months, we're going to check you out again and make sure everything's running correctly. All right. The nurse will come in. She'll let you down. And I'll see you in six months. Have a good day. Ah, yes. Looking forward to the weekend. Yes. Let me see if Nurse Riley has any uh, any other messages before I begin my weekend. Uh, Nurse Riley, uh, any messages? Let me take a look. There doesn't appear to be any. Good. Are good, you going good. to work on your golf game with Donald Trump? No, not this weekend. I'm, I'm sure he's real busy. Making, Mer making America great again. Yeah. yeah. All right. And uh, about that paperwork uh, that we went over this morning, uh, where are we as far as that's concerned? The paperwork has been completed. Have All a right. great weekend. You too. Have a nice weekend, Nurse Riley. And thank you for not making my coffee. <laughs> I heard that.
program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.